You might think you know how art looks, but wait until you visit Ferndale's Funky Art Show. Yeah, today's your last chance to check out the amusing work of more than 100 artists. Fox 2's Mario Lu joins us now live, and uh, you showed us, you know, a little art, a little fashion. I mean, certainly so many different things there to, to catch people's eye. Yeah, Taryn, something for everybody, which is really the point here of this festival. They have about 120 artists who come here, and they make it their point not to pick people who have the same art. They don't want to see a lot of, you know, the background paintings. Not that those aren't beautiful, but they want to, you know, keep it funky here in Ferndale. That's what they do. This is Ty. Uh, we've had a very interesting discussion because I walked over. Not going to lie, Ty. saw the art. Get out of the camera's way here. I thought we were going to have to go dark for a second. It's like, ah. Uh, but uh, you explained it very well. Talk to me first just about what inspires you to paint the way that you paint. Um, you know, I, I'm off the, usually when people see my work, they immediately think that it is dark, but I'm not necessarily a dark person. I'm just kind of figuring some things out. Um, the style of work that I use, um, I, I've been, you know, putting myself, trying to follow this, there's a duo, they're called, um, it's a duo called, um, oh, Sal Governale and Richard Christie. Mm -hmm. Um, they're fantastic artists, but I've been trying to make my work just like theirs. Not just like theirs, but, I, you know, I've been right, working for that. But it's all ballpoint pen drawings with watercolor backgrounds. Wow. And this piece, this piece, this, um, this chimpanzee in this old Civil War, uh, uniform, he's dragging these bag of skulls here, um, People, when you see skulls, they think that it's dark, but... Yeah, they, I said, why is he dragging the bag of heads behind him? What's yeah, up with that? They're all... It's so that sort of represents old mem old old ways of living. So right. you still got to remember your past, just kind of bringing... But keeping it uh, far enough behind you that it doesn't hold you down. Right. And um, he's not melting. You said he's his legs represent trees being rooted into the ground. Yeah, those are his legs. He's still rooted in his ground, so his strong roots mm -hmm. that still continue to hold you up and you can you can, you know go on living i mean he's a chimpanzee so i still feel like as humans we're still kind of evolving there's still yeah. a lot we can still better ourselves so very deep hope for the future i like that and you know we can't let you go without checking out robocop here although you know i'm kind of hurt about mr potato head what uh, you know what's going on there is he crying is he sweating I, i'm not really sure maybe he's crushing potato <laughs> head <laughs> maybe potato head why bad. ty I'm why not, i'm not i'm not sure i can't really explain all of my art um, I just, I'm just expressing myself and not thinking about doing it, just letting it all out of me without holding back. You have a thing against potatoes. <laughs> it might, might, might be the case. <laughs> or Mr. Potato Head or in Mr. general. Or Mr. Potato Head just in general. Uh, so, you know, we're at this festival. Uh, have you had a great reception here? You've seen a lot of people coming in wanting to look at your art? Um, yeah. You know, I did this festival about five years ago, and, I, and back then, I'm, I'm not sure how old they are now, but I, I could tell that it was growing in some good. And Friday night, the opening night, a guy came in and he bought eight of my wow. original pieces. Congratulations. Yeah, it was That's pretty amazing. awesome. And he he he'd been he saw me at a festival last last week. Very good. All right, Ty. Thank you. So look, if you want to come and buy uh, the other eight of Ty's pieces, you can do that. The gates open here at uh, twelve o'clock. They're open until five. You can bring the whole family, and it's free. Uh, so again, we've shown you scarves and hats and paintings. I mean, there's really something for everyone here. Funky Ferndale Festival live in Ferndale. You guys have to come check it out. I'll send it back to you guys. Yeah.